morning hello welcome to a brand new vlog series i'm adam hatton if you don't already know me welcome to the block hotel i've stayed here before uh, um, this is the night before my flight um but look at this room this is insane da, 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 da. this room is so big i don't know what to do with it <laughs> I booked uh, an Aspire room this time. I think it was like 20 pounds extra. Um, and then I signed up to this mailing list and then I got a free upgrade, I think. I don't know for sure. Pretty sure this is a VIP room though. That, that panoramic window is ridiculous. And they got like the mood lighting. They've got this random little chaise chair thing. This bed, this just... They have a sink in the living space. They have a little coffee table with a chair. I've got this bathroom, which has a window out to the one ray. Run, 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 run. It's a hard word to say when you're slightly out of breath. I've literally just like been reading my case for two and a half hours trying to get here. Shower looks lovely. Oh, she's a comfy bed. Adam approves. Right, this trip, this trip uh, are gonna be a little bit different from my last trips because I'm actually staying at Universal this time, which I've never done before. Of course I'm still going to be going to Disney, so for all those Disney fans, fear not. They're still going to have some Epcot, still have some Magic Kingdom, but I've never stayed at Universal Studios, and since they built Cabana Bay, uh, which is their new resort, which is like a family-friendly, uh, more affordable resort, I've heard nothing but good things, and I want to give it a go. And it came up quite cheap, so I thought, let's do it, let's do it. So I'm looking forward to trying that out, I'll give you my full review, of course I'm going to be nothing but honest. Um, It'll be interesting to see what it's like also trying to go to Disney from Universal like for a few days out of the trip. Um, and Universal's very kindly gifted us tickets so I'm looking forward to going there and having some park time as well as potentially going into Volcano Bay as long as the weather's okay. This is December. December can get quite chilly so we're playing everything by ear. The flight is tomorrow at 11.40. This is my pre-flight, well not pre-flight but pre-flight night outfit. I've got a new jean jacket from Hollister, got it in the sale, t-shirt from Jack Wills, and yes I know I am doing double denim, don't come for me in the comments, I've had a long train journey. Got some new Nike shoes, um, no I'm not sponsored nor was I gifted these, I just saw them in Sports Direct and bought some new ones because they're grey, and they're great. Can we take a moment to appreciate just how big my bag is? A little bit too big. Um, when I went to Florida in October with Gary, I didn't have enough stuff with me. Like, I didn't have enough t-shirts, I didn't have enough... <sighs> the things you want on holiday, I just didn't have enough of them. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna overpack this time and see how it goes. It may already be overweight, but that's also because I'm taking some presents out for friends. So, hopefully on the way back, it'll be a little bit lighter, but I'm <laughs> saying hopefully because Adam likes Disney merchandise. Okay, sorry about it. Um, I'm not going by myself. Sam will be joining. You'll see Sam in the vlogs from tomorrow morning. Uh, he's brand new to the vlogs and loves Disney and Universal just as much as I do, so I'm sure you're going to enjoy him during these vlog series. Um, be nice to him, because he's new, all right? Thanks, guys. I know you will. You're nice people. Uh, nothing's happening now. Um, just gonna wind down for the evening. Probably get some dinner at Giraffe downstairs, as this is in the South Terminal at Gatwick. Uh, we're flying from the North Terminal, which I don't Actually, I think it's over there somewhere. Not entirely sure, but we will find out tomorrow when we're going towards a plane. So, see you in the morning. Morning. Uh, welcome to Sam. This is Sam. We uh, are heading over to the North Terminal because we've been at the South Terminal, which is done so by a tram, which I've never used before. So we'll give that a go, and then our flight's at 11:40 or 11:45. Want to see us? Well, I gave you two options and you said yes, so we're off to a great start. Um, I've booked number one lounge at the North Terminal. I'll leave my offer code below. Not sponsored, just happens to be a thing. Come on, big case. Disney World and Universal. Welcome to the shuttle to Gatwick North Terminal. Welcome to North Terminal. 
terminal. <laughs> Merry Christmas! We are going for Disney Christmas and Universal Christmas. You've never been for Christmas before. What, are you, we're going to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, which you've never been to before, and Grinchmas. We are flying Virgin Atlantic this time. I have not flown Virgin Atlantic since Gary and I went in 2016, I want to say. Uh, and that plane was old and I was like, mm, not sure how I feel about flying with Virgin again, considering they're at the same place as Norwegian, which we're all Dreamliners. So we're going to give it a go and see what it's like. Um, Sam flew, you went with Virgin on your last holiday and you liked them. So I've taken faith in what Sam has said and if it's bad, then his head's on the chopping board. The whole holiday just gets destroyed. Yeah, <laughs> ruined, ruined, ruined. One of the benefits of booking the number one lounge is you actually get premium security. So we don't have to wait too long at security. That check-in took a long time. Mm. We had a lot of people with lots and lots of bags. Seem to all be going to the same place. You need to pick up your dollars as well. Oh, yes. Yes. Aha, I remembered. Yeah. 10 well points done. to Adam. How are you? Uh, that's normal departures. We're going through premium departures. Because we fancy. Not fancy, I just actually booked no, number one lounge with a discount. So, you know. We saw this. And Sam was like, the Harry Potter shop! So we're gonna pop in here. Um, with, you're looking at getting a jumper? Uh, a Hufflepuff jumper. A Hufflepuff jumper. He is a Hufflepuff. I am a Gryffindor. Lies. Shut up. Um, uh, the exchange rate is not that good at the moment, so it actually depends on <laughs> what the price is in the Universal, because it's 1.22 at the moment. Although when we were picking up Sam's dollars, it was 1.07. Luckily you got the 1.22. Yes. I mean, I'm feeling it. How much is it? Probably two. 14 pounds, that's not too bad actually. Before we head into number one lounge, we're looking for some drinks or food or <laughs> something. Two for two pounds, found an offer. We went to Dovey Smith and I was like, there's no offer on water, this is lame. Hmm. Wait. I might have smart water. I prefer a smart water, just because I'm a snob. Water smart. They do! We picked up a tube of salt and vinegar Pringles, popcorn for movie time, and... Can you just go up? up lounges? There we go. <laughs> Number one lounge? Yeah, there we go. Get to go down the lounges corridor. Ooh la la. Are you excited to feel fancy? Gonna get lots of food. Ooh, I think this one's a little bit nicer than the other one in the South Terminal. So this one's actually a buffet style. If you go to the one in the South Terminal, you like order it. Um, you've got a vegetarian selection today. And then I've gone for sausages and it. I've basically wanted the beans and toast, but we didn't have a toast. Uh, and I toasted. Uh, I'm just trying to I want to be some toast, but they didn't have a toast, and that made me sad. Because I was really excited about that. I wasn't that excited about that. You were very excited about it. I was more excited about the cheese. Yeah. I didn't see cheese. There was no cheese, which is why I'm devastated. That's it, we're leaving. <laughs> Chilling in the number one lounge, we found a nice little corner sofa. Sam's having an existential crisis about trying to start his own blog. Can you do it? Are you gonna do it? I really want to be like, hey, what's up, you guys? <laughs> um, it's a nice lounge. I, I, it's this similar to the other one. The only difference is that the food is different. I could have got some alcohol, but I don't want to drink or have caffeine before a flight. Because then I feel groggy. And it's, I, I don't, it's, I just remember coming off the last Virgin flight being like, I hate my life. And like my skin had like all broken out and everything. So if this face doesn't look the same when I arrive, you know why? Goodbye, number one lounge. You were nice. This was the buffet. They had like beans and bacon and sausages and mushrooms and tomatoes and... How many muffins have you had? Rude. How many have you had? Don't know. <laughs> I can't film this for too long because it's copyright, but Christmas music. Christmas! Disney Christmas! Universal Christmas! We're going to gate 573, which is potentially the furthest possible gate. In fact, it's the second, pos the second furthest possible gate. Making me regret that last blueberry muffin I went. <laughs> <laughs> nice bit of exercise to warm us up for the 20,000 steps a day. 
<laughs> going to our gate. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have the travelators here. This makes me sad. We're going to Orlando. Somebody farted. It wasn't us, but it was a child and it smells. We have made it aboard our Virgin Atlantic flight. This one, however... What happened, Sam? I got pulled over by security. <laughs> Not just pulled over, we had to be the last people boarding the plane because they had to clear him. I haven't cleaned my laptop in a <laughs> <laughs> So we are on our way soon, which is good. Got middle seats because apparently you get more legroom here. And I, 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 I think it's, you know, this isn't bad. Currently scrolling through the movies, Sam enlightened me to something cool you can do, which is if you click on a film, you can put it into your save for later. Any clever? We have been in the air long. Uh, Sam's watching Jurassic Park, the new one. Uh, Thoughts so far? Uh, I'm watching Crazy Rich Asians, and it so far it is case. Uh, just looking at uh, bike Wi-Fi, or Virgin Flight Street by Wi-Fi with Go Go in flight. Um, it is 4 99 for an hour, and 15, so 40 99 for the entire flight. I've got some work to do, so I might do that. And I'll let you know what like, the speed is and stuff like that, and see if it's actually worth the money. We're on the final stretch, we have less than an hour until landing. Uh, Adam is currently watching Frozen, because... Uh, Sam is currently watching Beetlejuice. Um, he tried to explain the story to me, because I've never seen it before. Um, that didn't go very well, did it, Sam? Uh, I mean, this is a great demonstration of what the film is like. Um, yeah. I know that it's in, uni he's in Universal. Because Gary got pictured on the last trip. So, anyway, uh, we'll be landing soon. We don't have a Magical Express type thing because Universal doesn't have that to my knowledge. Um, so we're going to Uber from the airport. We're going to have to obviously go to customs and everything. So we'll see how long that's going to take. We're actually towards the front of the plane. So fingers crossed. Doesn't take us too long. We have made it to Orlando. It's a day. <laughs> it's a day and a half. Uh, every opportunity we could, not could get stopped, but like so Sam got stood behind a person taking quite a long time at customs. Customs was long, like the line was long, but we didn't have to wait long, which is good. And I found the bags quite quickly. Hooray! I want food as well. Well, no, I don't actually. I'm, I'm, I had a lot of Pringles I was gonna say, on the flight. Um, they kept giving me food and I didn't say no to anything. Yeah, Virgin gives you a lot of food apparently. <laughs> Literally putting a Pringle in. Pringles? <laughs> you know when you said earlier, we're like, I don't want to be eating on every single clip. Yeah. It's already in place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Resort, other ground transportation options are on level one. Hello, this is Orlando Mayor. Hey, buddy. Welcome, Evo. Let's head down to the pickup place. Get an Uber. We're going on first Disney gift shop. No, you're right. We're going tomorrow. <laughs> the Orlando International Airport Christmas tree is up and it is looking cute. Orlando International Airport is looking sexy now. They've made it nice and pretty. It's been under construction for a long time, so it's nice to actually see this done. I'm enjoying the festivities, Orlando International. I'm here for it. You can tell I'm disheveled because my hair is getting flatter and flatter. Uh, Uber is approximately six minutes away from Universal, sorry, from here, which is Orlando International, to Cabana Bay's Beach Resort Universal Studios, approximately $30, which is not that bad. Uh, we end up with a Subaru Forester. I don't know what that is, I don't know cars. It's grey. There it is. Oh my gosh. Our Cabana is literally behind us. Sam's excited. I'm excited. Hopefully it's warm enough for us to go in. <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, your nap awaits. Thank you. Thank you. Cannot well wait. Done. We have made it to Cabana Bay. This is what the entrance place looks like. Entrance promenade, as you were. Lobby's just through there. Sam's off getting his 
Instagram picture. Uh, we are gonna sleep. Did you vlog? Look at you! About two seconds worth of content. Yay! Let's go and check in. There's a very big Christmas tree in here. Oh, it smells nice too. I like a resort that smells nice. I'm quite enjoying the 50s music. Also, look at the size of that zit on my head. Oh, it's not a zit. Oh, it's just a mark. <laughs> it's just a Oh, yay. <laughs> Right, we are going to be staying on the seventh floor in Americana, which is over here. So we've got like walk around and then go up. We are next to Volcano Bay. We also got a lazy river just outside the door. There's a Starbucks here, guys. There's a Starbucks. Adam's happy. Adam's going to have some great mornings in here. I'm impressed. I'm not going to lie. I had no expectations coming in and I have, I'm, I'm just very happy. They have Harry Potter merchandise in the gift shop. My Hufflepuff thing. <laughs> <laughs> Starbucks will make Adam happy in the morning because he gets caffeine and there's a water feature in here. Is that the cheekiest one? No. There's a lazy river and you want to swim in the water feature. This place is so much bigger than I thought it was. Look, there's a diner here? Dinner, potentially? They have ices. They have an ices machine. Guys, they have an ICES machine. This is not a drill. I mean, inspo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I did just take out a child. I cannot get over how big this place is. Like, we haven't even left like the lobby area. This diner is huge. They've got TVs playing 50s style 60s things. Loving the motif. Very Adam. It is very Adam. Right, we're going to Americana. Get in. <laughs> Number seven? Does this mean we've got a good room? It, it must mean we've got a good view. We're on the side the volcano bay's on, just don't know if we're facing it. We will see. Or oh, I'm terrible at directions. Or oh, you I'm are terrible annoying. at directions. <laughs> you have no sense of direction. Rude! <laughs> But true. This this corridor is really nice. Look at the lights. Look at the lights. That's so pretty. This suitcase is really hard on the carpet, though. Without <laughs> any more children. I'm gonna try <laughs> to not. Just so I and you guys get the best, like first time view of this room. Sam's uh, gone in to turn all the lights on, which is what I normally do for Gary. So it's been a nice first reveal. Can I come in now? Yeah. You okay? All right, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, I like it. I really like it. This is cool. You happy? I'm very happy. And also, look how cool this is. No one else would be impressed by this, but like. <laughs> What's the view like? Bowling pin drinks. Okay, you were wrong about Volcano Bay, but it's still a pretty good view. No, I think it's behind us. Hmm. Well, I can see Hogwarts. Kind of there. Oh yeah. Kind of. It's literally right there. What the hell? So all in all, it's very similar to like other moderate resorts. So if you stayed at like a Disney moderate resort, similar. These ceilings are great though. Very nice and high. I don't know if that's just because we're on the seventh floor. What you got there? Still dreaming. People ask you what you do for your job. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, like, same, similar amenities, like TVs, tables, chairs, two queen size beds, a nice size bathroom. Uh, this would happily do a family of four, I guess. But it'll do us just fine. Completely miss this. My name is on a piece of card. Let's have a look. In fact, would you mind holding the camera? Greetings, Mr. Hatton. Love that. Welcome to Universal Skaban, the Bayfree Resort. It's a pleasure to have you as our guest. Uh, we hope that you find your stay with us to be as comfortable and enjoyable, a uh, comfortable and enjoyable experience. Enjoy and have a swell time. So the managing director left that, and we've got a mug. Or is this a book? 
sweets. Shut up. I've got chocolate and stuff. <laughs> Thank you. I've currently got the Spanish This Is What Happens in Universal channel on. Um, just because... I literally, I, I literally just broke down in a, in a, in a bit of the vlog. Just every day. Just, right, okay. Anyway, we are in the... Again, just... I'm that tired. Anyway, in the room, currently unpacking. Uh, ample number of drawers. I like this. We have a mini fridge. I like that too. Uh, lots of plugs. Great plugs. We've got two down there. Uh... Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and they're USB ones, which is great. Uh, and then there's also ones in the bathroom as well, for your bathroom stuff. Plenty of towels, like that too. Um, very clean. I, I'm, I'm appreciating how clean it is. Nice little bit of space in the wardrobe for clothes and suitcases, which is nice. We have lots of shoes with us. <laughs> We're basically women. But um, the only thing I've, the only thing I don't like at the moment, what's the matter? Oh, fridge. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, sure, glamorous. Um, the only thing I'm missing in the room is a mirror, like, here. Just like, to do your hair in the morning, that's what I need. But apart from that, I'm quite happy. And um, we're, I'm gonna have a nice long shower to defly to ties, and then we're gonna have a little explore of the resort. I've had a shower. Sam is currently sporting my merchandise, which I am all for. Where could you buy that fantastic piece of gear? Adamhatton.com forward slash shop. But something off Blue Peter, I loved it. Um, the black ones are actually low in stock at the moment, so if you're watching this in the future, they'll probably be back in stock. Otherwise, there's plenty of blue, plenty of pink going on right now. Um, I'm very happy about the fact that this is very Cabana Bay aesthetic. We're gonna have a little walk around, possibly get some food. Um, we got served a lot of food. Oh, oh, look, she's changed. Also available in white and blue, and. This is really hard. How do people do this on stage? Boom, look white at and that. AdamHatton.com forward slash shop. Nailed it. <laughs> it smells, it just smells really nice. It smells like orange cream. Ice creams. That's extremely specific. I like my smells. We just got to a window. That's the that's a, there's a lazy river in the. What did you say? I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. And then there's Volcano Bay over there. You can just about see it if I cover my hand. I'm I'm like this resort's incredible, and considering this is so, for us to stay here for seven nights, I had to pay six hundred pounds which is not that much, considering that you could fit a family of four in those rooms. Um, and for two of us, it's perfect. Literally perfect. Ooh, I feel like I'm in the sweet life of Zach and Cody on this. It doesn't move, does it? It's a prop. Oh. Content. <laughs> 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 That's a very good American accent in this lift. Going down, one. It's because they don't have ground floor here. Absolute mm. monsters. <laughs> this, is, this is very nice, I'm very happy. Clean, it's new. The route, like, it's an, we're on the seventh floor, it's just a nice height to get a good view, but not so high that you feel like you're now gonna get a nosebleed. <laughs> it's a full open as well, it is. It is. Look at that. I said it's open till 11. 8 till 11 every day. And I've got a bar, like a, she said a grill over there. Universal has kindly gifted us tickets to Volcano Bay, so as long as it's not too chilly, we're hopefully gonna be able to pop over there. I've had nothing but good things. But this pool's incredible. I could happily just spend a week in this resort just chilling out. They have a beach. There's a beach. The sand. That's, that's, the, that's the main lobby over there. This looks really cute. Sam, are you happy? I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm genuinely a little bit emotional right now. <laughs> Popped into the main dining hall. Uh, so we're planning to get some dinner after we've had a little look around. 
Ooh. Mushrooms, ugh. He likes mushrooms. I don't trust him. <laughs> I will come, I will be coming for mushrooms. They are the worst thing. They are the slug of the vegetable world. We've got a deli here. We've got pizza pizza. We've got international eats. Hello. We've also got off the grill. This is nice. I like this. Ooh. No, bye. Bye. It's nice that they have a healthy options so. It doesn't even go here. They have a gluten-free section over there. And a grab-and-go section over here. They have small kits! <gasps> the fire pits. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the realisation. <laughs> we know what we're doing this time. I could literally spend an entire week just here. Is it a bowling alley or is it something that's themed like a bowling alley? Oh, it's gonna be brilliant. There's actually a bowling alley up here. That's the coolest thing. This is awesome. You literally just missed Sam running in like an excited school child. This is so awesome. This is huge. Luigi's mansion, but then realized it was a reflective surface. She turned around. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a hotel. This is like a resort complex. Like a, you know, if you went to like your local bowling alley space area, like you could put a yeah. cinema in up in up here, and it'd be. What's this? What's this? I think it's just a lot of space. It looks like a function room or something. Oh yeah, it is a function room. It's like a convention center, I think. Yeah. Okay, This is a view of the dining area down here. I'm assuming you can get around to rooms there as well. Lots of space, we like lots of space. Good job, Universal. We have a physical fitness studio, so if you're someone who likes to work out on holiday, you have, this is huge. I'm not gonna film too much because there's people in there, but like they've got weights and like, just, wow. Almost as if it's a gym. But it's huge. Normally you wouldn't have oh, that in a hotel that gym. That, yeah, okay. So take that back, please. Thank you. This is the overlook for the main lobby. So there's a bar down here. I like that. I like that there's a bar in the lobby. That's nice. But this is this place is huge. I just had no idea this place was so big. And had so much here. Like we could spend easily spend a full day here. I'm not going to the gym, of course, but we could. <laughs> <laughs> Sam immediately gravitates towards the Harry Potter stuff. <gasps> I love those. I'm sorry. Look! <laughs> Look! That's cute. Oh, I want it. How much is it? $62.95. Hmm. Hmm. Is that a kid size? No, it's just an extra small. Look, I can pretend I'm a, I'm a drop for the first time. It says degree, I'm over it. This is the bar. I, 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 wouldn't, I, I would be an impartial to inebriation. I haven't seen you drunk yet. I'm intrigued. It will happen at some point this holiday. <laughs> I'm not sure you guys are going to see it, but you know. <laughs> but over on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I booked this and I was like, yeah, I don't know where we're staying. It's called Cabana Bay. It's kind of new. It's a universal one. I've heard good things. Now I know why I've heard good things. This place is ridiculous. And I'm so impressed. I am so impressed. This is such a nice resort. It is spacious. It has got plenty to do. It's not busy, is it? Like, I nearly dropped my phone. <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> I did. Um, I don't know if it's just the time of year or what, but like there's plenty around. I'm really, can we go and have a look at those lights? They look pretty. Ooh, this is a place for an Instagram. Loving these. Oh, they got beanbags to play with. This is insane, this is insane. That's very close to my face. Too many Ish. chins for one vlog. Too many chins for one vlog. Yeah, you and I combined. These are very moist. Don't use that word on my channel. No moist. Oh, even worse. Yeah, not bad. At Cabana Bay, they have cabanas that you can rent, and it looks like they have TVs. Just, just a casual TV in your own private cabana. No big deal. Yeah. Sam just made a very good point. This hotel is incredibly family friendly. 
just in everything. Like, it's fun for us adults because we're like, <coughs> oh my god, bowling. <laughs> Um, but then, like, it's all nice and colourful, there's neon everywhere, like, the kids are gonna love this. Fire pits, like, I'm just, um, blown away. I spotted my stars. Dun 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 Morning! Don't steal my brand. I just asked for you guys. Uh, the Pavanas are $50 for the day, which is not a bad price if you've got like a family sitting by the pool all day. Um, it doesn't, there's no like waiter service or anything, so it's still kind of like pick up and go. But you have a TV, a safe, and what else you say, towels and stuff? Uh, yeah. I wasn't paying much attention, but I got the price for you. <laughs> That's the main thing. I'm gonna grab a spot of dinner at the Bay Line of Diner. That kind of rhymed. We're at the International Eats uh, kiosk. I'm gonna get the seared salmon fillet and what are you going for? Vegetarian lo mein? Lo mein stir fry. Ooh la. With mixed vegetables, edamame, edamame, edamame. Edamame, yeah. I mean the prices are quite similar to Disney and what I can see, 13.25 for the salmon, pretty standard. And then once you got your drunk and stuff it'd be about 15, 20 dollars. So just like Disney, they have refillable mugs here. They're 18.49, considering we're here for a week we thought might as well be worth it. You're happy. That looks amazing. I've got my salmon and my gravy and my corn. It's going to pay. We just found out that these include icy. I'm happy. Sam's opted for a classic drink. Um, very similar to the Disney Resort mugs um, in that you can get fountain beverages, coffee, fresh. Ch oh, oh no. What what's what's the matter, Sam? Is it a freestyle machine? It's a freestyle machine. I think he's happy. Too many decisions. This resort is everything. I'm so happy. Sam, you happy? Oh, he's really happy. He's brushing his teeth. Um, this resort has blown my expectations out of the water and I'm very looking forward to spending an entire week here. Um, well worth the money as far as I'm concerned from just everything that's here. But more on everything as we go along. We've got some fun stuff planned this week. Lots of festive fun. We're going to Mickey's very merry Christmas party in a couple of days, which I'm very excited about. Um, we are doing some bits and bobs here and there, but we're going to spend some time at Universal, some time at Disney, and it's all to play for. So, with that being said, like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to see all my future stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you tomorrow.